welcome back to another Promancing the Stones. I have poured my sparkling water into a wine glass just for the occasion. Because today, we are going to be learning about Mr. Sakato Eo. Eo? Sakata Eo? Eo? I'm sorry, I'm bad at pronunciation. No, Peyton. We're studying Sakata, not Katani. <laughs> so, a few things about him. He is called Razor Sharp. Um, his strength is in the mid game. And yes, it's where I look for my my pro soulmate, the pro that I want to study the most, that I want to fall in love with their playstyle, the the pro version of a playstyle that I'd like to emulate. This is the series where we discover that. Um, as my friend Scatmaker likes to call it, it's like pro speed dating. We take three games, one from their early career, mid career, and their most recent career. And we just look at them, we get a feel for their play style, and if we want to dive in and start memorizing games and, and really studying their games in depth. Uh, Sakata Io started um, being a pro, I think, in, in like the early 40s or late 1930s. Um, but he started growing into fame in 1950. Uh, his strongest year was 1964. And... Uh, he played with people like Go Sagan and Kitani Minoru, and his career really, really ended um, in 1999 is the last game I could find on record for him. So, uh, yeah, this is all going to be pre-AlphaGo. Uh, let's dive in. This is his game against Kitani Minoru. It's the sixth Japanese Honinbo League, and I believe this was um, a game from 1950. So, Sakata opens with a 4-4. Diagonal, 3-4. Ooh, facing. Wow. So this is very interesting to me already. Very old school, perhaps. Of course, it's a game from 1950, so that would make sense, right? Uh, the approach right away. <laughs> the reapproach on the other side. Uh, I think this is a set pattern, if I recall. Black pincers. White attaches, black drops. And this is kind of a bottom side Fuseki when you have two facing like this. Ooh, I don't know this very well. 1950. <laughs> Black is living small there. Oh wow, Black's coming out with their weak group. This is This is a dramatic playstyle already. 2014 is old. <laughs> this feels like a dramatic playstyle to me. It's already interesting. I want to see how these fights go. <laughs> Peyton Bigsby is all about the 1800 games. Black stands up, white honey's under. That honey under feels really slow to me, but I guess white has to find a way to live in this corner. And black takes this opportunity to do to Tanuki. So black's pretty much safe here. Black's alive in the corner. Uh, black has a way out here. So the next, I, yeah, that makes sense. Just to approach a standard pincer variation, as I understand it, with the attach. Black puts pressure on the two stones. Continues the pressure while building. Very sharp moves. This older style is, I think, a little bit easier to grasp for me. I'm not reading them all out. I'm just kind of getting a feeling. Black's continuing to pressure this group. This is amazing. White left the cut for a second there. Yeah, I know. I thought, I thought Black was going to cut right away. 
Peyton Bixby is apparently a Katani fan. <laughs> and so Black is keeping the pressure. Keeping the pressure still. Oh, I did not expect that. Wow. Oh, that's... That's beautiful. I love this sequence already. Wow, look at how Black took this upper top side with that sequence. I want to see that again. Oh, that's beautiful. Sacrifice? Atari? Connect? Oh, that's just... that's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so far I'm I'm liking Mr. Sakata Ao. Huh? Takes the Atari, connects. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five to one, two, three, four. Oh, he just flat out wins this, right? Oh, does he not? It's a... not a co... No, it's not a co, it's just... He wins that, yeah, flat out. Nice! What? Oh, he wants to make sure it's not a co, I see. Because if, if white connects, oop, back, 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 I say. If white connects here, then it becomes a go. Okay, cool. And black to nuke from that? Is that a good? It's fine, right? That's totally fine, yeah. And the cut? Black doesn't care about this. Because why? Black's saving these? And is sacrificing those? <laughs> it's not that obscure to know a go go. There's a white stone, white stone, white stone. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh my gosh. Why didn't... Why didn't I do this? What? All right, all right, all right, all right, back. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, okay. Because he didn't need to. Right. Got it. That's what? Oh, right. It's just points. It seems like black is sacrificing a lot here, but it makes sense to try and connect these all the way out. So black is just connected now. Yes. And... So 
So one thing about Sakata is that he's on record as saying the more complicated a game gets, the more likely I am to win. And I, I appreciate that. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, he, he prided himself in intuition and um, in middle game fighting. Apparently a very intuitive player. Um, he would sometimes play moves out that um, other pros might not have went for, and he would find very creative moves. Jazgar, you are watching Promancing the Stones, the series where I try to find my one true pro soulmate. <laughs> It's a love story told in parts. I want to find the pro that I'm interested in studying, whose games I want to memorize, and whose style I want to emulate the most. The, the pro whose style is really the heightened version of who I want to be. So that's what we're trying to discover. Um, we've had two so far, and they are both on my YouTube channel, so link down below if you're interested in seeing some of the other ones. And I put these up on the Wednesday that we do them on stream. There, it is twirly because romance, romance swirls around us. Love is in the air, Jazgar. Love is in the air. It is. You could think of it uh, like The Bachelor, right? Where I have a lot of pros um, that are coming to my house, to my stream, and I'm going out on one-on-one -on -one dates with them every week. <laughs> this is The Bachelor, Bachelorette of Go. <laughs> and they woo me with their Go style. <laughs> you got it. You got it. That's exactly what. And that's the end of the game. Black, Sakato, Mr. Sakato Ayo, um, wins by three and a half that game. Well, that's early career. A game against Katani. I knew you guys would be interested in a game against Katani. And we win. There were some fascinating sequences in this game, and I, I already like his style. No Komi? Ah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, file, open, oh, no, don't save. Let's look at his mid-career. This is a game from 1975. And let's update. Black is once again Sakata Ayo, and white player is... Otake. Hideo. And this is the 14th Japanese Old Maijin League. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, Sakata takes a 4-4 again. And a 3-4 facing again. This must be like his jam. Orthodox is his jam. Just straight up enclosure. <laughs> uh, an approach. I'm a little surprised that Black didn't push White one way or the other, but perhaps Black doesn't know which way he'd like to push them yet. Standard two space high pincer Joseki. Black just wants to come out. And has an eye on putting pressure on this group, it looks like. Yeah, definitely has an eye on that. So we keep the pressure. This looks very similar to the last game. Okay, and now 
Now he decides which way to, which way to go. Um, this naturally forces the enclosure in the top right as well. <laughs> and black goes for the immediate. Okay, this is pretty standard kind of side Joseki thing. Uh, white's taking influence, and that that kind of indirectly helps these. But it is two groups without eyes, right? Black lives on the side, takes away the territory, and then cuts. Cuts right on through. What are we doing? He's... what? Forcing a co? It's not even really a co, right? I'm so puzzled. <laughs> All right, black lives, white lives, everybody's happy. <laughs> and... Black is making eye shape. Oh. White with the pretty big shape. Yes, this shape down here, that's an amazing shape. <laughs> Majin soft J halfway between Jin and Shin. Thank you, Smurfing. I I I don't speak Japanese. So if I if I butcher some of the pronunciation, I apologize. It it truly is my own ignorance. Um Truly, truly. Let's see. So, this fight, Black is threatening to surround this group again. Uh, White is pretty much connected all the way back, but this... I mean, it's alive enough, right? <laughs> it is alive enough. Hey, Scatmaker! We're doing pro speed dating again, Scatmaker! <laughs> So this is a lot of lot of special reading fighting. Uh, why is white doing that now? End game? It's time. Time for the big end game. Apparently, love is in the air. I even poured my sparkling water into a wine glass. Cheers. <laughs> Special reading fighting, that's right. So far I'm enjoying I'm enjoying Cicada's style. I wouldn't say it's bamboozle style, but there are some really sharp moves happening on the board. Now I'm only a 5Q, so I'm gonna be, you know, pretty impressed by almost any pro play. Just that I wanna take more of that kinda of style. I enjoy this. But now it looks like we're kind of reaching endgame. Co. Such co. <laughs> wow. Literally nicknamed the Razor due to sharp moves. I know, I know. He's razor sharp. And I, and you can see it. Like, I don't know. 
I don't know if you guys can see it, but I feel like I can see what they're talking about. The way he doesn't back down, uh, some of the sequences are just so incredible. Uh, some of the pros said, I was reading, like, Sensei's library and Wikipedia, some of the pros said um, that he was one of the few pros where they, they didn't always know what was going to happen. Um, that they had trouble reading the sequences as well as Sakata could. And that's the end of the game. Black plus resign. Why is this black plus resign? It's a points thing, isn't it? Because black has all of this, all of this. Is it a points thing? Where's my score randomizer? Score randomizer says black plus 15. Actually, that looks pretty accurate. Yep. Wow. Wow. He wrecked him. Hmm. All right, one more game. This is from his late career. I think this game is from 1997. And, oh, Sakata's black again. I didn't realize I picked all black for Sakata. That's kind of a mistake of, on my part. I kind of like to see a mixture of of the pro playing different colors. And this game is versus Kato Masao. Killer Kato. We've got the Razor versus the Killer. I'm very excited about this. Because Kato's on my list as well of uh, pros to study. So I get to see how these two interact. Takata is real good. You're not kidding, Tap, right? You're not kidding. This game is from the 44th Japanese NHK Cup. Round number three. And Sakata opens 4-4 four, four again. Oh, dual 4-4s four, four this time. This is different. Approaches right away. That makes sense. Plays a fairly standard Joseki here, right? If I like Sakata, I might also like Lisa Dahl. Yeah, he's on the list. Lisa Dahl is on the list of pros to check out. NHK Cup Fast Games by Pro Standards. Okay. Wow, that aggression. That's beautiful. So again, on the left side, we've isolated the group after the fencer, and we're chasing it out to the middle. But this is Kato we're talking about, right? Kato knows about killing. Kato's not just going to be cowed into submission here. Look at this counterattack, you guys. Oh my gosh. Who do I love more? <laughs> Oh, Kato with this beautiful counterattack. Oh my gosh. Remember, all moves were played without main time, only 10 by 30 second bio periods. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, this this really strikes at the heart of their styles then, right? If they're if they're playing this way without thinking. These trades, though, oh my gosh. I have a book of Kato's as well. Sakata Ayo has also written a few books. Which I'm kind of interested in looking into now. Um, he did some about Fuseki. Modern Fuseki, but it was written quite a while ago, so it's not modern anymore. Yes, uh, Attack and Kill by Kato Masao. I've read it. It's a wonderful, wonderful book. The Bible of Players Like Me. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, trades. Is Black having life problems? Both of these players are all in. Wow. Okay, so White's group is not alive. Is alive. Is not alive. Is. Is. Not alive. Locally. Oh no, White can just. I can just do this and be alive, right? Yes. Black's group is not necessarily locally alive either. But it's it's pretty much connected out here. So black's probably fine. This group is alive, this group is fine. And then the right side is still under contention. Who's going to get it? It looks like they're just extending the fighting in order to see who dominates the right side. Oh, black. This move. That timing. Well, for both players, I guess. Okay. All right, you guys. R4. That R4, though. Look at this. You guys. Really? If I was in a game on like If I was in a game on Fox and I saw R4, I would be so upset. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful the timing. <laughs> the timing though. Okay, so black plays this way because of the throw in potential, right? Yeah. Oof. Wow. Okay, now it's kind of just endgame, right? We're at endgame now? Question? Feels like endgame. Oh, that. Why? Why this? Does this work? Kato, does this work? Uh, who is gonna slog this out to win? Oh, that connect under. Oh my gosh. Oh, game ends. Black plus resign. The black three Kosumi configuration in the top right is called Sanba Garasu, or three crows. Okay. So yes, I generally pick at least one loss from the pro, but I didn't pick a loss this time. Um, what can I say? about Sakata Ao. Very sharp, very tenacious, uh, continually kept the pressure on the opponent. No question about that. Um, Orthodox seems to be a favored Fuseki of his from a couple of the games that we saw. We can't really make that uh, claim yet. Um, so, so far, between the three we've looked at, Choi Chohan and Sakata Ao probably are my favorite. Uh, Choi has, has a much, uh, how to say it? I would say it's, um, more fluid, more zippy, like he kind of, it's a faster paced game. Um, if, you know, it might be a long-term game, but I feel like his style of play is faster paced. It's slightly ADD, from what I remember, <laughs> um, but not really. And he he really liked a, more of a trapping style 
uh, where he built up a Moyo and then trapped his opponent inside. And then these, this just shows a lot of sharp moves. I really enjoyed this, the feeling of these games. Um, so, yeah, Sakato Ao, definitely top contender of the last three. So I'm not sure who is one and who is two. But uh, Shobang Su is probably, out of the three we've reviewed, is, is my least favorite so far. Um, he, he had a very uh, patient, traditional style. <laughs> uh, these games, if I were to compare them to music, I would probably compare this to probably early 20th century music. Uh, there's a little bit of jazz in there. There's still some form and formality. Um, and then I feel like there's some experimental aspects to the game. So, yeah. This was a good Promancing the Stones. I enjoyed these games. I enjoyed looking at them. They were very exciting to me. Any dang way. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, and feeling the swirling romance of Promancing the Stones.